players in the players club you know what time it is if you don't i'm here to tell you killer frequency the whole game start to finish right now depending on how long it is i might break it up into parts but we're beating this tonight we're doing the entire thing um we're here with the twitch chat okay twitch is not going to be on the screen because uh because i'm scared sometimes i'm scared sometimes i don't want any spoilers and we gotta immerse so let's all immerse right there youtube yep we locked in too yep twin miss y'all braxton with the healthy gifted sub braxton thank you so much yeah i don't know anything about the game i don't know anything about the game i do know that i work at a radio station that's all i know oh yeah this is fast WASD and then the mouse. First things first. Settings. Control. Where? Camera sensitivity. Would that be like my mouse? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yes. Um. Alright, we're almost there. Maybe we need it on three. So it does... It did, none of that changes anything. None of that changes anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Field of view? Crank that, bro. I gotta see around me. But the thing is, is like... Are you serious? No camera sensitivity? I'm just gonna drop this one, too, just in case. I'm not on controller, but I don't know why that would matter. Okay. Hi, Joe. Less than three I code app. Hey, P Luna. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. How you doing? Resume. Oh, this is better. I needed to... Uh, whatever. We're here. Ooh, okay. Like that mechanic. I like that mechanic. Picking up objects, press left click to pick them up. Disc. Oh, we got a brewskis? I got a problem. Why did I instantly try to drink it? Um, object interaction. You can hold two objects, swap between the scroll wheel. Okay, one, and then that's in the other hand. Okay. And then you could drop and throw. Can I drop from both hands? No, only this one. And then I can only throw and grab with the right hand. Disc. Hold to place object release. Okay, wait, well, hold on. Oh. Disc. Okay. We're learning little interactions here. Oh, we're going deaf tonight. Is he pissing? Why am I going to check it out? I clearly should have went the other way. Uh... I think I did it. Okay. Is there a sprint? No sprint. Let me get another bottle. Let me get another bottle. There's no sprint, which which I'm not mad about. Inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting. Hold left click and move the mouse to rotate to do that inspection. Okay. K fam. K fam. Okay, I'm done inspecting. And then F is the drop, R is the throw. Oh, that is the lamest throw. Why do I have this rat trap? Oh, so I can right click and then move it, then drop it there too. Interestingly decent. I'm just seeing, I'm seeing what I could really do, right? We need to see what we can really do. 
Control to crouch? Okay, we're here. Are you just going to tell me we're not going anywhere that's requiring some crouchables? Okay, stinky trash. Let me fix my mic. I don't know if I'm loud enough, y'all. <clears throat> uh, Coming for Barbara. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. I appreciate you. Let's go um, opening doors. Okay. Well, no, duh. We've been opening dumpsters. Am I right? How do we inspect? Oh, yeah, E. And then... Can I scroll in? Nah. I like that clock. I'm already gonna die. Maybe for Halloween. Ooh! You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? Ladies, I I heard why else, is it? I don't know. Check, check, check. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, I almost swore I Hold heard Hold on, something. let's lock in. Oh. And here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. Oh my God, <laughs> she's a, cat is. a smart ass. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Hold anyway, on, let's crank you this. You ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Hey, Peggy. The mystery's killing me. Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ tests? Um, yeah, let's do the checks. If, if this... Yeah, let's do the All checks. Right, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Oh, please really? just get to it. Come on. Let's I didn't ask for a YouTube tutorial. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Done. Great. Now turn it off. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna make a swish on this one. Well, I made it in the can, but I didn't swish it. She Press asked. the stop button on the record yeah, player. Yeah, you're right. I should do what you told me to do because right. I asked for help. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Okay, line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Okay. Miss Peggy, this is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? What's up, Don? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press for Peggy. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Oh. Is there a Peggy mute button? Ooh. They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Okay. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Like, okay, hold on. We're, um, sound blaster. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Oh, this thing? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're oh, almost done. Oh, okay, I see. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I see what kind of game we're getting into. Let's go back to display. And field of view. Yeah, like I need to be able to see these buttons and shit. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got a record right there, and then the 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 yeah. You want a new one, sis? 
play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts! Wait. Alright. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets. It's like my go XLR for real. Now let's get the show started. Oh hell Actually, yeah, that's one. That's the one. Our first segment is guess that scream. I guess that scream. That was a Let joke. me get that music back. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two. Oh, already? Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It is my first day on air. Good evening, Gallows Creek. All right, I guess you can take it away instead. Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. I think I was better. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. The tape? Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. What is it? Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Come on, Peggy, you're stressing Guess me out. It's my first day. a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. Oh my god. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it! That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip! Let it rip. That's oh, not God. how screams work. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Okay. We're doing the falling from a cliff scream. Hopefully it goes a little bit like this. I nailed that shit. Well, folks. Oh my God! Call your guesses, and if you get it oh right, my you God! Can win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze, and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Oh! Just call in at five, five, quit five, the job, two, three, move nine, states, bro. Fam, Ain't no way guess. you did that. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. You get dialing. Hey, hey. You seek ancient wisdom. Do you play a record for us? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Alright, yeah, no, my fault OG is on the other line. So personally, I had thought that that was gonna be an OG track unreleased because the classics are on cassettes, but I just ran an ad. Why do we have ads on cassette tapes? We're back. Me Should I introduce the song? Yeah. Now it's time to go with the flow, and this is their hit, "Crying for Help." Oh, stop, Forrest! That was amazing. Oh, let's go, Peggy. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Come on, Peggy. Lighten up, Forrest. Stop 
that's gonna be the highlight of my week. Hey yo. September third, okay. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, let's get this call. We got a caller. Time to turn the music off. We have a caller on line one. Caller number one. <clears throat> okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I did. Oh, yeah. oh God, you want me to do it like this, like sweetheart? I, it's it's off. It's off, sweetheart. Welcome to one eighty nine point sixteen. The stream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. Okay. My name is Leslie Harper. Hey, Les. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Look. <laughs> I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. Uh huh? All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, well, don't call me. The truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh no. Nah. God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. Did he fight back? He Bro. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Right? Wait, wait, wait. Is there anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunner Oh my God. <laughs> Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie. You need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. Right. I'm not SWAT, I can't bitch. Call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Oh I'll my have god. I'll go there bro. myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls. Ain't no motherfucking you. way. No, that's a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line. Dog, it's my here. first day. You're the only person. Literally day job. one. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information. <laughs> you better call another department. Now. You better I'm call another department. When to jump in. Watch what I do right here. So good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious deputy Martinez. Three different out of waters. That holding cell. It looks like whoever I've tapped out of this conversation the seven seconds ago. After they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. So. And that's too narrow for me to Oh reach my god, bro. My There's brain needs to, like, another way in. process and talk about shit. The crazy thing is, the craziest thing of all 
is um one she expects me to be a police officer uh two i don't work for the police department three uh i have no history four there was no pay raise for this five um what the hell you better try and break the door down what are you talking about there little cracks in the door any chance you could break down the door it's a holding cell forest these doors aren't budging for anybody oh my god you better get some c4 find another way another set of keys i guess there's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office those can't be the only one of course yes there must be another set where might another set be she didn't think of that how did this police officer get her job oh my god could you imagine you're just working at a radio station and the officer calls you scrambling like i don't know what to do i'd probably just hang up like no offense but like this is not i didn't sign up for this check sheriff matthews maybe sheriff matthews had a set of keys on him when he you know i couldn't see any at a glance but you better go back I really look up close one second. Yeah, you better one second those keys from his pocket. I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. Oh, oh I'm my just God. gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. Okay. So far, so good, I suppose. Okay. How are you feeling, Forrest? I think we can handle this. I can't handle this all night. I'm quitting if it's a prank. Yeah, I'm definitely going with that one. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving. It's like that movie on Netflix town. that I watched. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens Peggy, next. you're in on it. Come on, Martinez. You're way too nonchalant and there go with go. the flow about this issue. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You mean we're going to be on our own? Just Peggy and me and no one else. Not to mention, the dude's probably listening to like the police scanners or if it's this small of a town, he's listening to the radio station. Now he knows everyone's... Oh yeah, we're cooked. Playtime, 20 minutes? 20 minutes and I'm a police officer. Fantastic. Responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh, my God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Forrest, come on. You need to focus. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Oh, Leslie, you need to get it together. You are the worst police officer I've ever had the, like, the opportunity of getting to know. There's no way, bro. You better run for it. You need to run for it. The whistling man might break through the door. We can't run for it. Deputy 
Deputy Martinez isn't even conscious. Then I you better run to for it. Run to Henderson. I'm not a cop. What? I don't have these skills to assess the situation. The I'm going to survive right? my own like, life. You should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, I'll just reach into your pocket there, Deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Right? Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Why? I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I'm forgetting Shit. what these buttons do. I'm trying to. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. <laughs> All right. Um. Hey, can you see any other weapons? Like, dude, these questions I shouldn't need to ask. I shouldn't. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Bust right. it up. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold That's one enough to take down a bear. You Martinez. can kill some weirdo whistling what in an alleyway. Leslie needs to take a weapon with her, but which one? If you don't take that fucking taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I don't trust you with the pepper spray or a baton. Then... Fucking aim and shoot. No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh, hell no. She sucks. Oh, my God. Watch me ask the most basic question. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. I don't see him anywhere. Let me take a look. So you just decided to see a fucking killer and then just be like, all right, hold on, though. Let me do some other shit. Like, please. And then be like, oh, no, he's gone now. What? But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Oh, my Stay gosh. On me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Leslie, end the call. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? These so, are my ears, bro. Here can we I, go. Can I equip? Again, you're hooked into dispatch now. So I should be able oh, to bro, she's the, the worst. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Yeah, with dots. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Wait, where did the, uh... Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Hell no. Nah. Somebody call else call, please. Hello? Forrest? Oh, my gosh. She just gets put Leslie, through like that? There? Over. Oh, my God. Hello, Leslie. So, I, I guess you made it to the car then. We did. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So, I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! Okay! Drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Oh my gosh, you're talking to me like I'm sergeant. Well done. Sounds like you handled that pretty well. Forrest, that That's taser? why pepper spray and all that other yeah, shit wouldn't have worked, right bro. Call. Hold this taser. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. <laughs> Let's go. For you. That has to be a oh good god, decision. Yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? 
Gallows Creek as a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Better floor you it. Keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Like as a police officer. Anyway, officer? once I'm in. <laughs> oh, hold on, police officer. We might have cooked right there on accident. Starting to stir. Um, flip those Peggy sirens and floor it. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Oh my God, Peggy! Enough. Sorry, Peggy. Oh my God, Deputy Folks, Martinez survived. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile, if you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character. Then give us a call. All right, what do we think and we want to listen to? On 189.16. Hold on, David Scopo. Scream. This shit kind of For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. All right, where's the option to introduce it? It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Hey, we got the opportunity to what I signed up for, to Peggy. gatekeep music, this and we're not gatekeeping. insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is Let me scope this room. Character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Rudy. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Oh, wow. No reason for it. No motive. He just... Second to the ninth. Oh my gosh, bro. This better not get so crazy where she's like, I'm running down Romero Street. I just ran past the Woodslide Apartments and I'm going to be like, hook a left. I better not have to do that, bro, because I'm going to stress out. So we're screwed? Because it sounds like we're screwed. Well, probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. Ellis Point, where that? Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night. Oh, no. Police cornered him and he jumped. Oh, no. This game's going to get hard. So is he alive? Oh, this game's going to get so hard. What's the story? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. That's the story. What's the truth? Okay, I'm pulling up to right here. Oh, we're right here. This is where we're at. tonight. Oh, me, that's me. What you over here yapping about? I'm sorry. Let, let me do one thing at a time. I don't need to study that map right now, hopefully. We're going to do our best. In everything we do, we will do our best. All right. Copycat or ghost killer. I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. Hold on. Let's run an ad. What figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday. Oh yeah, we already got one. Hold on. After midnight, could be around thirty-five. Thirty-five? Isn't thirty-five hundred? Huh? I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, thirty-five people, at best. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is <laughs> Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, <laughs> Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard best. to create jobs, 35. Yeah. improve it's infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek. What's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. Current mayor, a little over Linda a thousand? Cartwright, Teddy oh. Gallows Jr. How many did you get before? Creek? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people. Like you give me yeah. these cups, I want to drink that. Uh, Around beverages. Around five promo shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, 
I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Here when you're go. ready, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189. That was pretty rough, but we're getting the somewhere. Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? I'm hanging up. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? He's not the killer. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <laughs> Sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting him off. Yeah, cut him off. I'm cool on that, bro. I'm cool on that, bro. Don't call me on that dumb shit. For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Ooh, the late night lurkers. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Like, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... that's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Oh my god. Let's do this. Boring ass, I mean, uh... Ah. Hold on, this shit hit! Got a call waiting. Don't give a damn, Peggy! Ah! Right. Hold on, let's bring it down. Those are fast. 189.16. I suppose I should take this call. 189.16. They're different every time. Oh, it sucks. I could never do a cool, like... Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bad, 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 bad. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Oh my God! Okay, yeah, right. we gotta well, explain to I'm them. I'm calling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. These options suck. Like, I, like she's calling for help, bro. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you gotta help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? 
Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know anything about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help Okay, me. you're gonna have to jam something in that ignition and have to break the ignition switch and roll it over, sweetie. Roll that bitch over. Good luck. She don't give a... You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Oh my god, now she's gonna want music. Your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. The woman who's about to die? Are you kidding me? This one goes out to you, stab in the twilight, yeah. It's yeah. funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I need to explore. I was going crazy in that little baby gap room. Coffee. All right, hold on. First things first. First things first, I want to make some coffee. Where's the water at? Where's the water at? Oh, right there. Is, is this like not maybe an option? So I guess I'll stay focused, but We got coffee cups everywhere. Not a single person knows how to make coffee in here Okay, that's kind of cool Not mad at that. Oh Hold on Peggy Peggy sus. Oh my god, we got uh, rats everywhere? I'm not getting in there tonight. Interesting. This bathroom is sketchy as hell. I can't. Hey, can you mind your shit? This looks useful. Oh, how to fix cars. Place items on the tray to hold them while on calls? Where's the tray at? Oh, on the tray. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to help her, but we're going to have to help her. Can these move? Okay, hold on. Use the screwdriver as the key. If that fails, remove the steering column. Okay, well, well nah, let me do it now. Oh, we already have the killer! Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Time to turn the music off. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Settings uh, display, bro. 
Field of view. Lower it, bro. Let me get that magazine in my face. Have you... I, I want... Because I know it looks like I squint, and I probably do, and all this, all this other stuff. But, like, bro, these bright-ass lights make me feel like I'm in a baseball game, bro. It's like, read this. Boom, and then I'm being blinded. It's like, bro. I can read that. I can read that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'm gonna do it smooth Caller one time. On line one. Thanks, Peggy. Let's go, Peg. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Hit the steering wheel with the hammer? Oh, God. Could you imagine if I clicked that? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too Okay, now you're going to have to remove that steering column. Oh, next. Unscrew the steering Unscrew column. The steering column. All right. Jazz turn. Jazz turn. Everything's jazz for her. I don't get it. I got to focus. She'll die if I don't. Tell me exactly what you say. She better lock in. Okay. We can do this. She better lock a in. A red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. A green wire and a brown wire? What? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is... Five seven six eight nine four three two zero. Uh. What's the number? It, she said a green and brown. I, 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 there's no going back? Ah! Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Just hope she is jazz flying up to heaven. Forest. Sorry, couldn't help myself. <sighs> Folks, Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. Everyone, it's not my. Stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken too soon. I can't believe this is happening. I don't care, right. Peggy. Like I got Dallas somebody body because I wanted to read chat back. at the wrong time. What do you mean? I'm a little upset at Dallas myself, Creek but then I'm also upset about how stupid and fast that challenge Living? was. 
miserable? She said, oh, it's a green and a... And then I go in the middle and it says green and brown. And then there was a six. And then there was a six. And it says if there's not a six, but it didn't say if there was a six, what to do. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Peggy, be honest. Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and... Uh, I just want to... Friendly. Peggy's one of the killers, bro. If you get to know them. Hey, yo. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? My praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least Forrest just got somebody killed and he's already trying to go in, in between now. some cheeks. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. He's got that dog in him. He he he, he sincerely does have that dog in him. Me, unfortunately, Color I do have the dog in me too, one. but like right now it's it's looking like I don't know, like unfortunately like a chihuahua because I'm I'm would you shut the hell up? Because I'm a little sad that I got her killed. You know what I mean? So I feel bad right now. I'm like, I'm like a dog who had peed hey, on the floor shot. right Hit now. Hit the button and take the call. Oh my God, Sandra. Or what's, what's her name? Barbara? I, I just need fucking three moments of silence. Like, bro, it's just been left, right, up, down. You're a cop. Now here's, find the killer. And it's like, I really just want to walk through the building a little more. I don't even think I fully checked out like that hallway. There was another bathroom I wanted to go the to. lines lit up. I need to take the call. I'm gonna, bro. Caller, this is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say? about what's happening come on oh, i'm so happy that that deputy martinez survived i've seen her a lot over the years down here at pointy's pizza oh you did a really great job okay and uh, as a thanks for all you did there i just wanted to tell you that i'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at i don't think let me just say wow, thanks Brian. That's really good of you, but you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Talk to me. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Okay. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Okay. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. Cut the God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Forrest, it took you nine years to catch on. You oh, simply wouldn't make quick, it as a streamer, forget, bro. It's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Sure. Done. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace... <laughs> Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. 
help him become mayor. You got that young spatial Take audio in here. I like that spatial Creek. audio. Vote for All in Teddy your left Gallo's ear. Junior. All in your left ear. My name is All in Teddy your right Gallo's ear. Junior. All in your right ear. And I approve this message. Right in the middle. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. All right. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Please! Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, I sure. Mean, take a swing, bro. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Uh, who's got their vote? You got another caller? He's going to be whistling all dumb? Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy no, just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? Oh, dead. What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you what? as an anonymous source. I'm doing no interview? I'm Relax. Concerned. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> uh, it was him. They get worse every year. Why does it throw like farther sometimes? I don't get it. Wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. Well, like the higher you go, the farther Edward it goes. Marshall Mooney stalked Damn. the town, but I was there. I covered it. Uh, now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. Killed Sheriff Matthews. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Okay. And there's a set in the boardroom. Where's the boardroom at? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. Oh, man. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They've had a bunch gum? of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms with different extensions. Yeah, I, I I apologize because like I think about some of the shit I say while like it's an intense moment. Is that gum under the table? Somebody's about to die. Somebody's about to die. I gotta lock in. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Uh, let's do that and buy Maurice time or and get an exclusive interview with the killer. Mm, give him time. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. I don't care. I'm saving your ass. hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... 
You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. Okay. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Me don't go anywhere? You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Okay, let me check the fax machine. That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. She's like not fully rendered in, you know? Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. I'm trying! Thanks, thanks. Be right back. You just didn't... Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. What's in here? Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. So many locked doors, so few keys. All right. I'm checking out. I want that. I'm taking that back to the studio. We don't need sticky notes. I don't need this. I promise I don't need this. I better have what I need. What is this? Screwdrivers. Two of them. I didn't know if, like, once you did that, you could read it or something. Hold on, hold on. Twins, I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those Huevos Rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Uh. Praying for your stomach. There's no way I'm supposed to be able to read that. There's no way they would do that. There's like, hold on. Okay. Stop putting stickers on the office furniture. You're lowering the resale value. Oh, Reggie. Shut it, Reggie. This one has coffee in it. Whatever. Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box. If you want to read them out of... Bro. Hey, I ate the garlic bread much like your show. It was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. God. Deep fried. Where the fax machine at? This must be it. Yeah, you don't say. Oh my god, bro. Ain't no... But I can't see. And if you don't shut... It doesn't want to go that way. I'm being too realistic. It's just got to go in. Or it's already done. Man, get the fuck out of my face. I got, I got a. I look very touchable tonight. Please never say that again. Thank you for enjoying the stream. Um. 
I need to look at this because last time that shit bit me in the ass because I wasn't ready. Okay. The stairs are there, but they're blocked off. You got you got three exits, bro. You got the kitchen. You got archives, editors exit, and and then the boardroom. Facts. Let's see what we can do with that information. Hey, did you get the facts? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh you still with us? I am. My facts. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. There's Here's no the way. Situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Yo! You should call three. Um, editor. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero. Three. Get him over there. Got it. I'll put the call through. Let us go ready. in the kitchen. Right, send him into archives. Right, Get right. us the fuck out. Where should I send Mr. Russell? The kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. Okay, so he's up in three. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Here we go. Yes, sir. Calling now. Oh. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Okay. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you? It's your producer I'll be crediting. If I make it through this. Maurice, you're not going to make it through it. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit petty and I'm feeling like a dick tonight. Get fucked. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my The fuck move, said, I don't, I'm not thanking you. I'm I'll thanking Peggy. Her bitch ass locked her. She... Do you think he'll make it okay? Whatever. Sure he'll be fine. This game don't ever no, let me have time to talk. I need my time find to talk. Some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh, calling coming. Ain't no way we you trying ready? to still run the show. Like, oh, hold on, we still got a caller on the line, bro. Maurice might die. Also, he was an asshole, so yeah, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. Oh, it's I still it's still Maurice. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. You might not ever right. be out That's of the woods, you brother. So the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Bathroom. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing Peggy, around Peggy, you like suck. That. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. 
I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in How do you... there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a He's gun. already in the room next exactly. door, so... Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. You think of something else. I guess. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret office. Oh yeah, then you're dead. Are there Fuck no you, bro. What offices? do you like? Oh my god, I'm trying office, so hard to keep it cool, y'all. Bitch. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. All of a sudden you got one? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. I also don't care about this, We're but save him, Forrest. Heck, if this how do you get into the secret the archive town. room? There's literally no entryway. He's in editor number three, so it's like, bro, like. I don't know how this is gonna work. Bro's in the kitchen, killer's in three. That's it. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. Yeah. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Ash, she is hello? with the killer. Ash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? Obviously, but she's with the, the killer. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Why are people like this, bro? The radio works! If I make it out alive... Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Man, I'm doing this for me. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Give me the options. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's just... Imagine I kill him with the motherfucking... The good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Wait, what's our radio station? Yeah, uh, that's fine, bro. Get the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. Jesus Christ. I can't even drop the volume anymore. I've got the radio on silent. What's happening? I can't turn the volume all the way down now. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay. Killer's in the editor. He gotta go to archives, bro. Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The, I'm in the archives. Keep your head on, man. Why aren't you in the He's kitchen? Cut off mine. Then call the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is zero two. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. 
Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the kitchen Give now. A damn. Phones ring all night. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Why wouldn't you just stay on the line? Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. There we go. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. It sounded close Ooh, enough. Coming in. Here we go. I'm here. I set the radio in the... Oh. He'd already searched. Son of a... Fuck! Forrest, he's... He's... Gone. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Um. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. No, Peggy. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Can I talk to my chat, Peggy? I don't want you interviewing me in my video game. Shut the hell up. Also, I'm I, I'm a little upset because like I'm I'm a I'm a decent gamer and it's like with 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 the clues they're giving me and the options they're giving me, I feel like I'm not really utilizing like my my skills to the full potential. And also, it's stupid because I feel like I feel like none of this is my problem. So maybe I just don't care. About that. That's okay. Wreckers collected 12 paper balls from desk. No keys collected. Save the game. Um, also, let's let's wrap up this let's wrap up this video right here so we can just start a new episode, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate y'all. Absolutely. We just wrapping it up like that. Continue to watch the series. I will upload it. Um, when I when I uh, start uploading these, I'll give them like a day and then I'll upload the next one. So every other day we'll be uploading this series, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. See you on the next one.